Good evening, everybody. I feel like long time no talk. Did you ever just have like a couple days that were extremely busy? That's been me the last couple. That's okay. We're going to catch up over the weekend, I suppose. Today, I went with Jeff for a little while this morning. Then we had um, goats, no, goats, piglets picked up this, this evening. And <clears throat> then we had to run to Lowe's for a couple things. It's just like never stops, never ends. Always something going on. Yesterday, I wanted to start seeds. So that's why I didn't make a video yesterday because I came down, I did the barn work. We did all this stuff, and then I said, well, I'm not going to make a video because we're going to go outside and start seeds. It was supposed to be slightly warmer yesterday. It snowed, so I didn't bother doing that, and the day got away from me. So <laughs> here we are, next day, in the evening, but <clears throat> we're just doing barn chores. Uh, we, I said um, three more piglets went to their new homes tonight. And that leaves us with five from Peach's litter, and then we still have the five from Kiwi's litter. So that's great. They're all moving along. And yeah, so pretty soon um, they're all going to go out into the woods as soon as this second litter is weaned. We'll probably leave them in here for just a little while longer, and everybody else will go out into the woods. But we're a little ways off from that yet. I'm trying to think what else. I'm trying to catch you guys up. I plan to finish that fence that we started. Um, hopefully tomorrow, we'll see how that goes. My seed order from um, Pine Tree Seeds has shipped. So as soon as I get those seeds, I'm just gonna seed start everything then. And hopefully that'll be maybe beginning of the week. Uh, what else have I got going on? Everything in the high tunnels starting to sprout and looks really good, even though it frosted. Um, but the high tunnel kind of protected it a little bit, so that's a plus. Oh, that's good. Good for hickory. Chickens are running amok back here. Uh, let's see. What else have we got going on, Harley? Between seed starting. Yeah, we have peeps in the incubator. Well, chicken eggs, eggs, fertilized eggs in the incubator to hatch. I think we put 18 of those in there. So we'll have peeps soon. This will just be like a uh, run of the mill farmyard blend breed, you know, nothing special. I do plan to break up my death layers uh, and maybe uh, a couple other breeds. Uh, I think I have speckled Sussex rooster that I can put in there with my speckled Sussex girls so that we can have a couple different purebred strains. But Hold on. There's no grain in there, is it? No, there's not. Okay. I just wanted to make sure Thor wasn't into the horse feed because he sure does love it. He just put himself away like a chicken. Thor's having the time of his life now that his half-brothers are gone. He, he doesn't have anybody to uh, harass him, so he's doing the harassing now, apparently. What a silly boy he is. He is growing so big. And, okay, let's see. What else have we got going on? I uh, don't think there's too much. We're going to make some goat milk yogurt later. So I'll let you guys know how that turns out because I've never been successful with it. But I think I know what our error was. So if this works out and I actually successfully make goat's milk yogurt, I will let you guys know. We make cheese all the time. But I have probably close to three gallons of goat's milk in the fridge. They just are producing so fast we can't keep up with it. So yogurt is on the to-do list. So with all that said, don't do that. Sorry. With all that said, I'm going to go ahead and put you guys on a time lapse and we're just going to get evening chores done. Check it out. So I just went in here to clean the stall and I'm like, that's really weird. Athena didn't poop overnight. And I turn around and I'm like, Chase, did you clean the stalls? He came down here while we went to Lowe's and he cleaned stalls and did hay all by himself. I figured he did when I came home because he had hay in his hair. That's awesome. Thank you, buddy. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're the best. So now all I have to do is 
Yeah. Bed the stalls. That's it. That's all I have to do. Listen, raise your kids on the farm. They will learn the best morals, I'm telling you. That makes me so proud of you, buddy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right, well, I guess I'm going to go bed stalls and we're just going to bring the horses in. All right, I guess it's another milking video. There's something to be said about, oops, something to be said about farm kids and raising your kids on a farm. I just, they're, I'm at a loss for words. It seems as though they grow up so wholesome and thoughtful and thankful. Where do you think all the farmers get it? Huh? I said, where do you think all the farmers get it? All the farmers get that. Yeah. It's just, uh, I don't know. I don't know too many 11-year-olds that would come down here by themselves and clean stalls without being asked and help his sister out by doing her hay chore without being asked huh well yeah yeah but you, that's also you do the horses yeah i guess you both do huh but it's a shared chore i just think that's pretty cool and i'm in constant awe of these kids and how awesome they are and i'm super thankful and grateful for them every day i don't think our farm kids always get enough credit you know they're homeschooled, but uh, the farm kids, when I was in school, were always looked at as the weird ones, you know. I don't know why, but I just think that's such a shame because they're usually some of the best kids you'll ever meet, especially mine, but I'm a little biased, so. I don't know. Uh huh. Did somebody chew on this or what? Well, I guess that's going to do it for tonight. Thanks to this little man. And, well, of course, Harley always helps too. But he saves us a lot of time tonight. And I appreciate mm -hmm. that. So that's going to do it. I hope you guys had a great day. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. Bye.